Hello and welcome to Capital TV Bulletin. I'm Niana Mushe. The First Lady of Kenya, Margaret Kenyatta, has officially registered for the 8th March Half Marathon. First Lady Margaret Kenyatta today visited the One Week Beyond Zero exhibition, which opened yesterday at the Kenyatta International Convention Center. The exhibition gives a chance to corporate bodies who have been partnering with the Beyond Zero initiative to showcase their business activities and how they tie in with the vision and aspirations of the Beyond Zero campaign. During the occasion, the First Lady officially registered for the March 8th, second edition, Half Marathon and received her registration number 001 for the race in Nairobi. First Assurance Company presented 12 million donation to the First Lady that included 1 million in cash to support the campaign and undertook to ensure the marathon's participants are able to participate. The donation by the company was presented by company MD Stephen Githiga. Title deeds will no longer be a campaign tool, says President Uhuru Kenyatta. He said title deeds will no longer be a campaign tool to be used for political mileage during the election period. The president spoke at Courier Trading Center in Buri sub-county where he issued title deeds to residents. President Kenyatta said the government will issue 800,000 title deeds to landowners in Meru County in the next two years. He said the national and county governments will work together in resolving land problems across the country. Government to register all firearms, says Kayseri. Speaking during the Pastoral Leaders Forum presided over by Deputy President William Ruto in Nara County, Kayseri said the government had come up with a voluntary program to ensure those in illegal possession of firearms register them so that they could easily be monitored. We want to go the civilized way. We want to register all the guns. If you got a gun, you register. If you don't register a gun, that will be an illegal gun. And therefore, later on, we will be able to know how many guns are in the civilian hands in this country. And later on, if your community misbehaves, then we'll, we know where these guns are. we we'll just come and collect them. Asking leaders from pastoral areas to come up with new strategies in the fight against insecurity, Ruto said cattle rustling and banditry activities could have been eradicated by now if local leaders were serious in the war against the vice. We must have alternative means of livelihood, making sure that the narrative around marginalized areas changes so that those in Turkana don't tell us, oh, I'm coming from Lodwa, I'm going to Kenya. Because Lodwa supposedly is not part of Kenya. <laughs> and the quarrel being marginalization. Kenya Premier League champions Gormai departed the country this morning for Madagascar ahead of their CAF Champions League preliminary round return leg against CNAPS tomorrow. Go carry a slim 1-0 win and head coach Frank Natal will be seeking nothing less than a draw, a result that will see them through to take on Congo's AC Leopards in the first round. Meanwhile, Go TV Shield champions Sofa Parker are in Zimbabwe playing FC Platinum in the CAF Confederations Cup return leg. Sofa Parker are seeking to overturn a 2-1 defeat they suffered in the opening round in Nairobi. For more on these and other stories, log on to our website www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. I've been your host, Miana Mashiri.